Hello friend this is my story. Dear Becky, if you're reading this, it means you're at your mom's and have discovered that we no longer have our own home. This envelope contains the key to the Green Street vault containing your clothes and personal effects. I paid a month's rent for storage. I didn't have time to pack neatly, so I hope you don't mind the 12 trash bags I used. I tried to be gentle with fragile objects. Well, I tried. Thank you for leaving me a letter on the mantle when you and Brad went on a two-week cruise. With the tickets I brought home. You were so surprised when I walked in and found you and Brad having sex in our bed. I could tell by the smirk on that asshole's face that he was so proud of himself when you begged him not to stop. I don't know what my best performance was. The sad look on my face when I saw you, too, or when I threw flowers and tickets and told you to take your lover on a cruise because you obviously didn't want me anymore. I saw Brad's eyes light up when he heard about the cruiser and he had this grin on his face. Yeah, because he thought he won. Or my best performance might be the three weeks I had to feign humilia Chon because this asshole he was telling everyone in the office how he had my wife because I wasn't man enough to take care of her. Even the office manager came to my desk to laugh at me. This thanked Brad for the email he left at work telling everyone he was going on a two-week cruise at my expense with my wife as his bed partner. I also want to thank you both for discussing this business trip he took me on so that you two could be together for four days. I'm glad you admitted that he seduced you at your work Christmas party. I know he's flirted with you at other company parties, but I haven't seen you two sneaking out before this incident. But at the Christmas party, I saw you two having sex for the first time and took a picture with my phone. I'm really happy for you since his wife says he doesn't know anything about four-player lovemaking. Yes, his wife and I are lovers now. I went to their house and showed her a picture of you about two weeks after a Christmas party that she didn't know about. We originally planned to have revenge sex, but we found that we were so good in bed that we just started making love regularly. The more we met and talked, the more we fell in love with each other. That's when we started planning the cruise and the ultimate revenge F for you too. We started recording all your conversations so we knew what you two were planning. My lawyer enjoyed the conversations and you and Brad discussed where to send me next. Tina and I were worried that you wouldn't fall for the bulk of the plan. The hardest part was convincing you to sell the house in the first place. I thought you'd buy us a bigger house in a better area. And you did. Second, I burst in with the paperwork you were supposed to sign right after I saw Brad. Leave. I knew you would smell like sex and want me to get out of the house. You didn't disappoint me again. You looked very scared when I ran in until I explained that I needed signatures on paperwork. For the real tour. You signed without even looking. I even heard you sigh with relief when I hurried out of the room. You signed the power of attorney without looking and finally I burst into you too. I was as nervous as could be when I walked into the bedroom and saw you in our bed. I must have put on a great performance because you too made derogatory comments and smirked. At my suffering. When I moved my clothes into the guest room after Brad left, so he had somewhere to put. His clothes, I thought you were going to roll around with joy. Then you used that sad, pouty voice to say you were sorry. I liked the way you grinned. I wanted to stay as far away from you as possible, just like Tina, Brad's wife, stayed away. From him. I know he doesn't wear a wedding ring and tells women he's single, but trust me, he's been married for five years. You Becky is about the eighth or ninth affair his wife has suspected since they got married. The reason for this letter is to tell you and Brad that Tina and I have left you cheaters. We don't ask for divorces. If you too want to get a divorce for your health, pay for it. Information for Brad. He will, of course, call you when he finds out that Tina has sublet their apartment. Even like me, she donated his clothes to the Salvation Army. We found a couple of willing buyers who bought all the furniture from our house and later. From their apartment. 
Tina and I needed somewhere to live after our house was sold and her apartment was sublet. So we went to Europe to think about it. Tina emptied the bank accounts but left the credit cards open for our trip since we were low on cash. Tell Brad he's definitely going to love all those frequent flyer miles we got for him. While you two were traveling, we spent a week in Europe in top-notch five-star hotels. All on Brad's cards. You may regret choosing Brad. Its credit limits are not very high. In the first four days in Europe, we fully used three cards. Thank God he had four more to cover us for the rest of the trip. Now that I've told Brad all the good news about Tina, our trip, the apartment, and the bank, I have to tell him the bad news. I'm sure he'll be fired when he gets back to work. I filed a case for alienation of affection against him, the branch manager, and the company. When my lawyer went to the headquarters in New York, the first thing he did was play the tape of you and Brad. When Brad bragged about sending me out of town to have sex with you, he then played a recording of other employees coming up to my desk to humiliate me for Brad taking my wife away from me and the branch manager joined in the humiliation. Next, the lawyer presented Brad's email about the cruise on the company's server. After seeing and hearing all this, the company's lawyers fully granted our modest request for money and layoffs if I signed a confidentiality agreement. They faxed the agreement to me at work, which I signed and sent back along with my resignation. Letter. They gave my lawyer two checks, one for his fee and one for me, consisting of my cash, pension, settlement and all unused holidays. I was retired before you and the asshole came aboard the ship. Tina also sold one of their cars and her sailboat. Tell Brad he needs to watch what he signs before he runs out the door. He, like you, gave Tina his power of attorney. She was going to sell the car you came home with, but decided it wouldn't bring much in. The way of how many payments were left. How about you, my loving wife, who cheated on me with great pleasure and called me a weakling? While you and Brad were laughing, Tina and I were planning. All the humiliation you two have heaped upon me is now returned to you both in double measure. I hope your mom will let you and Brad stay at her house. When I gave her the letter, I explained to her that you were on a cruise with your lover. And that I was leaving you because I couldn't bear the humiliation of the two of you openly. Having sex in our house. I gave her a copy of your humiliating letter. She seemed very upset by your slutty behavior. That's what she said. I just called you a good wife who decided to become another man's whore. Your mother believed that this adequately described your actions. In any case, you signed the power of attorney earlier, referred to the beginning of the letter if you forgot, so I sold the furniture when you boarded the ship. I moved my clothes and belongings to Tina's hotel room. When Brad sent me to Florida for those four days, I took a couple of days off sick, flew out of the country and opened a bank account in the Cayman Islands. When we closed the sale of the house, I transferred the money to my new account. As I explained, my wife was not present at the closing of the sale because she was looking for a new place to live and I would be leaving soon. Accordingly, they were more than happy to help. I also sold both of our cars because I don't need them. I closed all but one of my credit card accounts in my name, so I hope you didn't try to use the cards while traveling that could have been pretty awkward. I closed all our bank accounts and once again, this power of attorney came in handy. The home buyers happily transferred the money into my new account. Oh, I used your share of that money to pay off our joint credit cards before the cards were closed. I'm prudent. I always thought you were one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen until I met Tina. Now I know that Brad is an idiot for cheating on a goddess like Tina. She has shoulder-length brown hair and sparkling green eyes. She's short and slender with perfect small breasts that won't sag down to your belly button. Like yours will in a couple of years and a nice tight ass. She's four years younger than me, so I'll have a young mistress while Brad takes your much older ass. When we were in Europe, men watched with envy as she held my hand while walking. 
all eyes were on us as we danced in the evenings. The stars watched as we made love every night. Tina and I have not yet decided where we will live. With our combined money, we don't necessarily need to work anymore, so we'll probably be traveling to find the perfect place to retire. I know you liked your part-time job because you said you were bored sitting at home. Well, now you can enjoy the benefits of working full-time. You and Brad could start looking for a job together, your ex, former loving husband. Subscribe to our channel so that your second chaff doesn't cheat on you and go ahead. And listen to the next story because this story is nothing compared to the next one. If you're under 18, don't even think about listening to the next one, out listening. To the next one.